you guys this is Adrian here and this video is just for uh, for those that doesn't know how to install the Samsung Galaxy S2 ROM V10 before you start please make sure you back up all your data and apps by using the titanium backup free version so as you can see I'm back up uh, I'm backing up all my apps right here and of course please be sure your phone is rooted and install the, the clock mod clock mod mod 5.0.2.6 the latest one so once you have done um, connect to the pc by using the usb storage so i'm gonna connect uh, my phone via the usb and uh, copy to my phone my sd card wait for it to load in so I'm currently using uh, the touch is wife ROM so I'm gonna do a ROM review later I'm gonna upload soon so once you have done um, yes um, please make sure you download it the ROM the ROM file is about 112 MB it's Galaxy S2 JB ROM D10.1 so um, you no need G apps actually is included in this file. So for me, I'm gonna copy this Galaxy S2 JB ROM V10.zip, um, and I will install the DSP manager later because I already need the DSP manager. And the Slate Mod V3 is actually performing um, the performance tweak and patch. So the ledge is copied. So once you have done, you can turn off USB storage and wait for it to make a scanning. I think wait for 10 seconds, about 10 seconds, and then um, reboot it to re um, the Clock One Mod 5 recovery. So for those that are still in stock ROM, um, again, please make sure it's rooted and then install the Clock One Mod 5.0.2.6. And then power uh, power off it, and then power on it by pressing the power button and the home button. And then once you boot to the recovery, remember wipe three things. The first one is wipe data factory set. Yes, break this is very important. Second one wipe cache. The third one go to at once. This is unnecessary, but I recommend to do this. Wipe that we catch. So now you can start flashing the ROM. Go to install zip from SD. Choose zip from SD. Um, select the Galaxy S2 ROM JB V10.1 and wait for it to install. Okay, a bit more. Okay, it looks like it is done. So for me, again choose zip from SD and I will install the DSP manager 2.3.x so it's done again install the slate mod v3 the performance patch okay it is done we would system now so it takes about three um three minutes for the first boot so that's it guys hope you like this video please see the like button comment down below if you have a problem so I will see you in the next video. This is Adam here from the technology of today.